Wow. Um, what an ex exciting night for many of us BC Lions fans last night. Um, I have not been this excited for BC Lions football in a very, very long time. Um, now, granted, it's still early in the season, and um, but like many, I was really impressed by what I saw last night. Um, I think Nathan Rourke, the quarterback, is definitely the future of this team. Then you have running back James Butler. Those two just lit it up, and the chemistry between those two was absolutely amazing. I mean, these guys played a near-perfect game last night. And uh, Now, it's still early. I'm still somewhat skeptical, and as as I was leading up to this season. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure to inform you that I'm probably going to be doing a week-to-week -week basis on BC Lions. I'm also going to be covering my other sports teams. I might be doing my Detroit Red Wings and... When hockey season starts in the in the fall, I might do more Chicago Bulls. When basketball season starts in the fall, I'm definitely going to do more videos on the Saints. So this is something I'm trying out, you know, to see how it, you know, see how it works. I was going to do U USFL videos, but I don't think I don't know. I don't know if it's going to last long. Tell you the truth, but that's another story for another time. Let's focus on the BC Lions. Now I'm from British Columbia, so they are my team here. But yeah, um. I mean, those two lit it up right away. You can see a lot of excitement. There was a lot of excitement in the arena, a lot of enthusiasm. Now, granted, One Republic did play at the uh, BC Place, so and plus they had Biff Naked opening and uh, doing doing their outdoor show that they do before every game. So, yeah, it was. Um, I saw a lot of excitement and enthusiasm that we haven't seen in a long time, and this has been building up for a long time. Now, look, I'm not trashing Wally Bono. I cannot argue with results. Arguably, he is the greatest CFL coach of all time. But the problem was, I just think he got older. He just couldn't adapt to the game of today. I mean, he was really set to his ways. And I just think that a lot of his micromanaging, a lot of his overreach, a lot of, you know... It was his way or the highway, and I guess it just... It clearly wasn't working anymore. And, uh... And thankfully, he stepped away, and I kind of thought, well, it's going to take a few years. And then, unfortunately, you know, the pandemic happened, so that really didn't help their cause either. But, again, it's just one game. But from what I saw, I think that definitely this is a sign of things to come for this team going forward. Now, I am planning to see a game on July 9th against Winnipeg. I have to, I have to get back to my friend on that one. If I do go, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you know when I have the ticket. And I'll let you know, because uh, I might be going to end play. It'd be nice to see Vancouver again. I've not been to Vancouver in a long time. Um, so, But yeah, such a relief. It was such a relief to see this team win for the first, you know, win again. And hopefully this is something that can continue. I mean, everything seemed right. I mean, we saw an energy and excitement that we haven't seen in a long time. You know, I think with Wally being gone, they were able to be rebuild in the right way. They are able to make the good to make to make the good picks, they're able to sign, make the right signings, they're able to make the right decisions for today, for the team of today, you know, and uh, I might do a video on Wally Bono later on, you know, talking about the good and the bad, and again, look, to the Wally Bono faithful, to Calgary Stampeder fans, to a lot of BC Lions fans, look, I have nothing, I have a lot of respect for the man, okay, but unfortunately, I just think it was time for him to step away, it was definitely time. His ways just didn't work anymore, and that's just that simple. Um, so, yeah, I might do a weekly basis on each game. And uh, now, granted, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, the CFL is very unpredictable. I mean, I just think that Edmonton was overwhelmed and a little ill, Ill prepared in that game. That's just my take on it. You know, if I were to give you all my honest opinion on on the matter, so. We'll see how the season goes on, but I do see big things for this team. I see a bright future for this team going forward. And anyone who watched the game, anyone who was there, let me know what your thoughts are going forward. Till then, that's all I got. Take care, and I'll be back next week to cover next week's game, and I'll probably do this on a weekly basis. So it's just something I'm trying. I'm trying something new for my channel. So until then, that's all I got. Take care, and uh, let's go Lions.